let's do a little aesthetic thing for our website. Um, and that is that up till now, whenever we've gone to a website, we've had to type in explicitly what, where we wanted to go and, and how we wanted to do that. And that is because if, if we start up the, the Rails server here and we go to the web browser and we just go to localhost 3000 without that, we get this really generic page. And uh, we'd like to do something a little bit less generic about that. So let's do that real quick. Uh, the way we're going to do that is we're going to edit our routes file again. And all we're going to do is at the top, what we're going to do is we're going to say what the path to the root uh, directory is. Uh, and maybe this can change, but let's just give it a default route right now. And, and since we don't have very many choices, let's give it the user's controller and the index action that we want it to do. So anytime someone accesses our website and doesn't give us a full URL, we're going to default to showing the, those users. So if we go to this website and reload the page, we will now see that we automatically go to our users. All right. And that is a real simple thing that we're going to take a little bit advantage of in the next couple episodes.